In this video, the project that we're going to cover is called Red Light Finance, which is actually a gasless blockchain, which is kind of surprising uh, when we talk about this, like how can there be a gasless blockchain and what benefits comes with it? Uh, and of course, there's going to be a lot of questions and that is what we're going to address in this video, that how is this possible and what benefit are we going to get out of this? So again, the project name is called Red Light Finance. We're going to cover all the details of this project. Um, make sure that you do your own investigation and research before you invest into anything. Now, without any further delay, we're going to get straight into it. So when we talk about, you know, blockchains, there's three parameters, three factors that almost all of the blockchains are, you know, they struggle to you know, find the perfect balance between these three things, which we know is decentralization, security, and scalability. Now, the problem that exists in almost all the blockchains, which is actually a trilemma at this point, is that whenever you, you know, make something more decentralized, you kind of compromise on scalability. So whenever you try to improve one thing, you actually mess up the other thing. So there's all of the blockchain struggle to find the balance between these things. Um, and uh, well, the struggle is still ongoing and these are the attempts, these are the solutions that are attempting to solve this trilemma. So we're going to talk about what and how Red Light Finance is solving this trilemma and how is this a gasless blockchain. And when we talk about gasless blockchain, a lot of people think uh, and the reason why they think is because there's other blockchains that have claimed to be gasless, but what they do is that their gas is, is like 0 0.0001, which, you know, during times of congestions increases. Uh, so that's not gasless. Or sometimes in blockchains that require you to acquire tokens, acquire government, you know, uh, get the governance token, they uh, ask you to stake token, get the, to you know, the governance token or whatever. And using that, then you can, you know, you don't have to pay the gas fees, but that's not exactly gasless um, at its true core. This one is absolutely zero. That means you don't need to stake or get any sort of tokens to make your transaction gasless. You don't, you know, the gas fees is not 0 0.01 and it won't be, you know, it won't increase during congestion periods. It's completely gasless, which, you know, which does raise questions like how how is this possible and even if they have made it doesn't that compromise on security and that is what we're gonna talk about how is this possible because i was going through you know their listing on the coin market cap and if you come over here you can actually see one of the comments uh, right here that um uh, it says with we have we have this person saying that with no gas fees doesn't that leave the blockchain vulnerable to attacks which is it true concern uh, and this is what we're going to answer in this one so they have came up with their own solution this is if you're talking about the consensus mechanism this blockchain runs on it is proof of authority and which is itself is an attempt to make it more secure but other than this they have came up with uh, a system that is called the pocket system if there's any wrong transaction the, it creates a pocket and it validates it, you know it validates it separate from the other transactions so we're going to talk about details on these things but these are the things that they have placed to ensure that it is secure uh, and it is gasless so we're going to go over the website and uh, there's there's a lot more than just being a gasless blockchain there's a lot that goes into it they have their own token you have seen their listing on the coin market cap um, it says uh, we are redefining blockchain technology, pioneering passive income with node projects and changing the digital landscape with a groundbreaking NFT marketplace. So that's what we're going to cover in this one. There's like a lot that goes into it. Uh, there's, you know, th this is a whole ecosystem. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys the, you know, the link tree uh, for the, red, you know, Red Light Finance and you can have access to all the links that are available right now. But before we get into this, we're going to cover more about the, you know, the trilemma that we were talking about. That there's always going to be something that will be getting compromised. Uh, if you try to make something more decentralized, you are compromising the scalability. And you know, this is how kind of like it goes, which we know is something that exists. There's There hasn't been a single blockchain yet that has been able to create an equilibrium between these three things. 
So uh, here they explain the whole thing. We have decentralization, we have scalability, we have security. Um, and uh, moreover, they, they basically explain separately the scalability, the issue with scalability and how the red light finance and basically the red, uh, you know, the blockchain and the red LZ token uh, is able to do this. So we have information on almost all these things. Um, there's like a whole document right here. I also have like a kind of like a short version uh, that is in the documents. So uh, it explains what the trilemma is, which I just explained to you guys. The three things, decentralization, scalability and security, which almost all never gets balanced when you try to prove one thing you kind of mess up the other thing so this problem exists and this is one of the reasons why you know most of the traditional companies uh, haven't been able to migrate to blockchain because there's problems that exist so uh, this is the trilemma uh, and if you talk about how it is able to um, solve it which i just explained to you guys um, but before we get into this if you talk about how is it you know created this is an evm compatible blockchain it is a layer one evm compatible blockchain so it's not going to be any problem for projects to migrate to this blockchain there's no you know extra need or requirement to migrate all the codes to another language it you know it is evm compatible so that solves you know that main problem and here they explain the pocket system how does it work so it says in addition blockchains uh, it says in traditional blockchains the cost of gas mitigated this issue by requiring more gas during periods of congestion making transaction expensive which if you are using in by as much is kind of like minimal so people don't get you know too bothered with it uh, in ethereum it's like really massive so that that's really is an issue so when you have red light finance as a gasless blockchain this problem does not exist the only problem that exists is of security at this point and to solve that they have created the pocket system which it says it is an intelligent queuing mechanism that allows the split of transactions to elevate congestion uh, the pocket system can automatically recognize network attacks uh, and it specifically reroute them to a separate pocket to be validated so it, it is done you know uh, separately from the normal and uh, valid transactions and uh, to you know solve the problem of congestions it basically splits the transactions and you know that's how it works so uh, there's other information that is uh, available in this document but i shared the most important ones with you uh, the benefit that we're going to have because of this innovation is that uh, it is going to affect sub industries within crypto it is going to affect industries outside of crypto uh, because there's a lot of not companies that do not use crypto or blockchain technology because they're afraid of the gas base because there's a lot of tons of information that they need to transfer and they don't want to you know spend on gas fees on almost every single transaction any type that they want to perform they don't want to pay for the gas fees so uh, this is how you know it is going to affect all these things because now they won't have this barrier and they won't hesitate to get into it and it says the future of crypto through innovation competitions always good for consumer reference so this is how it works which you can tell is an amazing innovation and this is something that we have not seen before this is uh, out of all the attempts that we have seen and we are seeing uh, to solve this trilemma this is one of the most solid movement and one of the most solid innovation which is you know really amazing and uh, it says as for right now there's the uh, all of all over the social media there's about like 77,000 people which is a really really good audience as for the starters and they total supply for the red lc token it is 210 million which is not a lot currently there are four projects and this is expected to increase um very very soon in this story it explains how it started what their mission is uh how you can buy it so there's a whole video that shows you how to buy within 90 seconds so you can use this one uh, you also have the access to the buy paper and you also have the buy button right here these are the exchange listings so they are on the uh, xt and also on the coin store to one of the most renowned uh, exchanges and this is their team which you can see is completely nox and you have description to, to almost all their you know all their team uh, what their occupation is uh, their name, how to look like, or what their past experiences are, and so forth, which really makes this whole thing safe because they will only be able to put out their identities, real identities, and you know their real social media channels like Discord and Twitter only if they are into it for real, 
for legitimate causes they will just put their identities their reputation in line for something that they know is bound to fail so this does put a lot of um, trust and confidence into this project so you have you know you can just go on and read about all their things um, now this is kind of like the roadmap and currently we're at the phase three so the phase one was red light token district then no district and then chain launch which is now done this is the currently the phase that we're at uh, which i just told you guys that they are they launched their own gasless layer one evm blockchain and in the phase four the new and improved twilight trust multi-chain launch pad and dusk which is going to be their pv game so this is coming soon um they also have their own nft you know marketplace they have nfts we're gonna take a look at that one too and these are the business partners which you probably will be aware of Sophia, which is a you know a company and project that i partnered with way back in the past i think almost one year ago so you, you can find the video on them uh, in the you know in one of my videos down there so this again uh puts more trust into it and this and here you can browse through their nft collection and these are the social media and so forth so uh, and these are the medium articles so there's like an abundance of information right here uh, and these are the social media which i'm, which I'm going to put in the description as well but yeah uh this is the project that i have for you guys uh i know you guys are gonna have a few questions about this and it is normal so you can put the comment you know questions down in the comment section i'm gonna get to you guys but one thing that we can agree is that this is one of the most solid movements toward solving the trilemma and uh, a lot of people have recognized this to be one of the most solid solutions so yeah uh, i think this is all for you guys in this video again if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i'll be there and uh, i'm gonna put all the links in the description so you can get those from there uh, do know that again anything i say or said uh, was not a financial advice this is for educational purposes so always do your own investigation and research and yeah uh, that is all for you guys in this video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned disclaimer trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital you should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.